Hey everyone, I hope you're having a great week. So glad yet again to be sharing yet another devotional with you guys. It's going to be in Job chapter 2 today. Uh, let's open up in prayer and get into it. Dear God, I thank you for all you've done for us. Pray, Lord, that you would show us now what we can work on in our lives and apply it to our lives, the scripture, and your word today. In Jesus' name, amen. So I'm going to start off reading in Job chapter 2. we got a bit to go through here. And it's talking about uh, uh, Satan is about to attack Job's health. So we'll see why here. Again, there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan came also among them to present himself before the Lord. And the Lord said to Satan, From where do you come? Satan answering the Lord said, From going to and fro on the earth and from walking back and forth on it. Then the Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job, that there is nothing like him on the earth, and a blameless and upright man, one who fears God and shuns evil? And still he holds fast to his integrity, although you incited me against him to destroy him without cause. So Satan answered the Lord and said, Skin for skin, yes, all that a man has, he will give for his life for. He will give for his life. But stretch out your hand now and touch his bone and his flesh, and he will surely curse you to your face. And the Lord said to Satan, Behold, he is in your hand but spare his life. So Satan went out from the presence of the Lord and struck Job with a painful with painful boils from the sole of his foot to the crown of his head. And he took for himself a potsherd for which to scrape himself, and he sat in the midst of the ashes. Then his wife said to him, Do you still hold fast to your integrity? Curse God and die. But he said to her, You speak as one of the foolish men speaks. Shall we indeed accept good from God, and shall we not accept adversity? In all this, Job did not sin with his lips. So we see in Job chapter 2, Satan just got through destroying all his possessions, and all, all Job's family perished except his wife. Then Satan says to the Lord in verse 4, Skin for skin. Yes, all that a man has, he will give for his life. And then he stretched, and then he, he stretched out his hand and, and touched Job with a, a disease of boils, a, a very painful and uh, ugly disease. Yet, he do, did this, doing this out of the purpose to uh, get Job to curse God, to, to not hold fast to his integrity. But we see what Job says there, and it was quite amazing that he, he said, after his wife told him to curse God and die, she speaks as one of the foolish women speaks. And shall we not accept from God as we not as we accept adversity? And all Job said, he said without sinning. I'd like to point to a scripture that this this passage reminded me of. Um, in James chapter one, verses two through eight, he says, "My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience." But let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. But let him ask in faith, with no doubting. For he who doubts is like a wave of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind. For let not that man suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. So we see here the highlight of what Job uh, holds held fast to, his integrity, what that was. He had faith. He had faith in God, and he knew that God was the most righteous and the only one worthy of deciding the outcome of any situation. He, he realized and identified that we, we accept good from the Lord, and we accept uh, the, the blessings and, and all the other stuff, but why then would we not accept uh, any adversity that comes our way? That, so my encouragement to you guys is to hold strong in your faith in adversity and remember that the Lord is for you. And without faith, we cannot persevere. So just remember, hold strong um, 
Hope you guys can continue to share and express your faith, uh, your, your faith in God with others around you. And just remember that you, you will face adversity, but it is God who is using it and he can turn it to uh, the growing of your faith and, and into to a good fruit that will come out of it. So let's close off in some prayer. And yeah, dear God, I thank you again for all that you've done for us. Pray, Lord, that you be with us throughout this week. Show us those times when we can share your word with others and learn from whatever you have in front of us. Pray, Lord, that we would grow through the adversity and trials that we face. Pray, Lord, that we would continue to see what you have for us and to move in your spirit and to be sensitive to that. Pray, Lord, now that you be with us, keep us safe. In Jesus' name.